And you're back with me, Cool Dude Clem. And here's a little something I'm working on, but that's for another video. Because I got another delivery. Just a little one this time. This is one. This one is from Brandon Ward. And, uh, not exactly sure what's in here, but it looks like something's trying to make a bid for freedom. So, I'm going to open this up on camera. And, um, oh, hell, look. I'll just open the side so I don't cut anything while I'm doing this. Oh, help for us doing it in the camera. Okay, let me just get some to put all this stuff in. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, empty it all into this little box here and then see what we've got. I can see lots of capacitors already. One transistors, more capacitors, oh, integrated circuits. Yep, that's everything, so let's, ta let's take a little look at what we got. Oh. This is a little thanks for all the, my electronic videos we got. What is this? I'm not sure. Can't see the light here. This is a HEF 4027BP. I'm not, not familiar with that. I'll have to look it up and see what it actually is. We've got some ceramic capacitors. We've got some other chips here. Is this the same as what I had before? LM324, I believe that's a quad op amp, if I'm not mistaken. So a regulator or a transistor. Uh, yeah. KA7912, that's a 12 volt regulator. Some transistors and some other bits and pieces. Uh, variable resistor, what's this? 4K7, 4.7 kilo ohms. And some transistors as well. Let's see what we got here. Can't quite make that out. And of course, I didn't realize I wasn't holding it in the camera. I think that says BC548. So, more components for my collection. And I'm sure I'll certainly find uses for those in my future videos. So, thank you, Brandon. And, um, well, let's get on with another video.